Hi, Jacob Bowden here. We're on to workout five, our last workout, um, and day six of our seven day five workout uh, golf fitness swing speed training um, program that you can be doing at home here. So day six, workout five here, gonna be a little bit easier than yesterday. Um, depending on how you feel, uh, it may be if you want to take a rest day here, you can. For purposes of this schedule, we won't put a, a, a rest day in here, but if you need that, if your body's telling you to do that, go ahead. Uh, you know, again, safety is important here. We want to keep you healthy. So take some time off if you need it. Um, otherwise, uh, let's get into workout five here. It's going to be pretty easy, just two blocks today, things we've done before. Um, the first block, <clears throat> we're going to do those rubber band things again. So uh, once you're loose, once you're warmed up, whatever you do for warm up, position the band down low, stretch it back with your trail arm, and then let it rubber band yourself down through down in your downswing and down through impact. We'll do uh, um, uh, five, six reps of those, couple sets. Um, and then we'll switch to the, so we'll do uh, the first set and then we'll switch to the lead arm and then we'll do both arms. So something we've done before here, basically trail hand, lead hand, both hands, rubber band yourself, going half the resistance of what you can do. So we, remember when we're doing the speed stuff, we cut our weight in half. For the strength stuff, we're trying to uh, build up. Um, if you are building up your strength, so if you went from your, your max strength uh, was, say, 30, and now you're up at 35, or say you're at 40, instead of like cutting now, then cutting now down to from 30 to 15, and you're up at 40 now, go from 40 to 20. So it's, again, it's basically just half of uh, what you're capable of doing. Um, and still keeping good posture, good form, and uh, do a couple sets of these, uh, five, six reps, go for speed, let, that, let those bands zing yourself down, let yourself be rubber banded, um, but again, be safe, be careful, um, and that's it. So that's the first block. Second block, we're just gonna do our swing reps again. So we'll do five, couple sets of five with the trail uh, arm with your shaft or, or alignment aid or just air, air, air swings with your arm. And then a uh, couple sets of five with the uh, lead arm. And then we'll do the 30 reps with your driver slash training aids, whatever training aids you have. Whether those, again, be the, the lighter clubs, the, the heavier clubs. <clears throat> or wind resistance type clubs or just your driver. And that's it. So pretty easy workout today. Once you finish that up, write all your stuff down, trying to beat all your best from the last time, both in strength and speed. Uh, that'll be it for the day. And then tomorrow, day uh, seven of our seven day week long program here. Take a day off again, reward yourself, let yourself, again, rest and recovery is an important part of training. Uh, it keeps you uh, healthy, um, it keeps you making progress, it keeps you making, it keeps you feel good, like you, you don't want to be irritable or, or grumpy, um, and you want this to be fun. So if you're not in the workout, and, and or you're just not feeling it, um, take that day off. Definitely take tomorrow off. But again, from, from throughout this whole thing here, take time off when you need it. Okay, so that's, uh, that's gonna do it for our week-long um, training program here at home. Uh, just need those resistance bands, the swing speed rider or something to swing. Pretty easy to do. As far as uh, what you might expect, um, just with the isometrics and practicing swinging fast, if we just did a really bare bones uh, uh, component of this, it's really common for people to get 12 to 16 miles an hour in a month. Now, when you do a little bit more intense program, like what we've done this past week here uh, with this, um, the, what you can gain is a little bit more. For example, with me, um, last week, I'm on my second week here now. So in my first week, 
Uh, I started on the swing speed radar. What was my fastest? I think I was at 117. And then the second workout I got to, I only did three of these workouts last week. Um, second workout I got to 123. Third workout, workout I got to 129. So the speed can come quick when you're doing something really intense like this and you're focusing on your speed. Uh, you're focusing on practicing getting faster. You're focused on getting stronger, making your golf, your entire golf swing stronger, but mostly your downswing muscles stronger. Um, and really the sky's the limit with this. Keep going. Do this week. Do the next week. Do week three. Do week four. You can take this as far as you want to go. Um, you know, I've my natural speed again is on a track band is about 105, and I've been up in the low 140s before I decided to just I just didn't got out of training. Um, but there's guys that swing in the 150s, so it's uh, really with this stuff. It's as far as you want to take it. And, it, and you don't have to be a pro, you don't have to be a long driver to make some gains with this. Um, we've had some uh, people, um, some uh, senior ladies, I think, swinging in the 40s or 50s and then getting up into the 70s and the 80s. It's just a huge speed increase, and it really helped them hit the ball a lot farther. And I've had some other seniors go from the 70s and the 80s and then get that speed back that they used to have, get back up in the 90s again. Or if you're an average player and you're in the 90s and you want to kind of feel what a tour player feels like, you can do that. Or if you're a tour player, um, tour players don't, even tour golf fitness industry, this is still a young industry. We're still learning things. We're still finding things out. Most people don't, most even pros don't even know uh, yet uh, the, the possibility here. So it's, it, I don't think it's going to be long here before we see some long drive guys that can swing in the 130s and 40s with stock swings start to show up on tour. And the tour is generally 105 to 125. Um, and you start to see that with uh, some guys, you know, Jamie Sadlowski, it's no big deal. Two-time world long drive champion, no big deal for him to put swings up in the 130s. He's playing, he's played a PJ Tour event. He's made some cuts on the Nationwide Tour. Um, Kyle Berkshire, the current uh, the, the 2019 World Long Drive champion, or champion, he swings 150 in the World Champions, so it's not a big deal for him to put up 140 um, and and on, with a stock driver. So it's not going to be this stuff is coming. So this whether you're whoever you are, um, get on this, um, take advantage of this. Um, and, and build that speed. This speed is, this is such an important thing for your golf game. Um, speed, there, there's a, a direct correlation between how fast you swing and how far you hit it and your handicap uh, and your scoring potential. So if you can add speed here, add distance, add power, you're going to lower your uh, handicap potential, you're going to lower your uh, scoring potential. Um, and this is true whether you're an amateur or a tour professional. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. This, this correlation, same correlation exists in the amateur ranks as it does in the pro ranks. Okay, <clears throat> that's it. Uh, now that you've been through the week uh, of training here, come next week, do it again. Um, and, and repeat this your second week. Then the third week, do it again. Repeat it again. Um, um, come back here. Make sure be posting your progress comments below. Uh, let us know if you have any questions along the way. Hit that like button. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Um, and thank you so much for, uh, for joining uh, me on this and in this journey of, uh, of being your best golfer and, and swinging faster, hitting farther, uh, shooting lower scores, just having more fun. Thanks so much. Um, I'm Jacob Bowden and uh, we'll see you around.